I wanted to read um, something that I, I took out of the book whole again. About three months ago, we went over this publication in, in the School of Transformation. Um, it was written by Jackson McKenzie, who is also the author of Psychopath Free. But in this publication, he wrote, one of the most common phrases I hear from trauma survivors is, I miss my old self. The person who felt cheerful, loving and fun. But what if the old self hasn't actually gone anywhere? What if we just have some very stubborn messages living inside of us that block us from experiencing it? I did a video recently on YouTube, if, if you guys have seen it, where I talked about this exact phrase because it blew me away when I read it because when I left and before I even knew about the world of, of information on narcissistic abuse, I wrote the PDF, I miss me and I want me back. It was like, that's the phrase that was in my head. I miss me, like, where did I go? And that's what happens. You lose touch with who you really are. If you had narcissistic parents, you might feel where have I been or I've never had a me. So there's, there's two pieces of that, right? If we've been going through it from childhood, we may feel like we've never been our, our authentic self. So I love what he wrote because it gives hope. It's not like, oh, this is how you are and this is how you're going to be forever. No, <laughs> this is the beautiful thing that as we're, we're healing, we start to realize that our authentic self, even though we feel erased, the authentic self is still there. It's simply been buried. It's down here. On top of that authentic self is a protective self. That's what our brain created to help us through the trauma. Those are the coping skills that we developed to navigate the emotional minefield that we were walking through. Okay. Sometimes we feel like the, the protective self is who we really are. It's not. <laughs> On top of that protective self is a false self. The false self is who the narcissist tried to convince you that you are. It's the role they put you in. Again, you had no choice. They put you in this role. You were in it for so long that it's confusing. And it became, it, it created beliefs that became a part of your self-image. And that's what we want to start working through. We want to get to that authentic self. But it's kind of like peeling an onion. We have to work through the false self. We have to then, this is the part that if you haven't gone through trauma that you don't have to do. So some people, if they haven't gone through trauma, and so maybe they have a false self because of bullying in school, and I'm not minimizing that, um, but other things that were challenging. For example, maybe they had a single parent, um, and that single parent was very busy. So they developed beliefs about themselves that were false. Like, I must not be important. I'm not enough. But the parent loved them. So what I'm trying to say is there's a difference between developing um, beliefs that are limiting and having a parent intentionally put them in you, okay? For somebody in that case, they can work through the false self and they quickly get to their authentic self. Anyone that's been through narcissistic abuse or trauma, once we work through the false self, we have to work through the protective self because that's the pieces of us that start trying to keep us from moving forward in our healing journey. If you were with me last month and we learned about the nervous system, you kind of have an idea of what I'm talking about. But as the month goes on, we'll, we'll dive into that topic um, because that's the layer of the trauma that we have to work through to get to our authentic self as well. <laughs> 